What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to unlock and use the Ballistic Weave upgrade. I will also show you the best armor combination and how to achieve this for yourself. As you can see I have the most armor that you can get in the game. 374 physical damage resistance and 416 energy resistance. The best armor that you can achieve without using power armor. And of course you can wear power armor over the top if you like as well. The term best gets thrown around a lot these days on YouTube by people that don't bother to do proper research but I can tell you that this is the actual best armor combination in the game and you're not going to need any downloadable content to do this. So what we need to get first is the Ballistic Weave Armor Upgrade. The Ballistic Weave Armor Upgrade is a modification that you can use to apply to most clothing in the game. Using it will give you 110 armor and energy resistance, which is obviously pretty incredible. So to get this mod for ourselves, we're going to have to do a few quests for the railroad. Luckily though, you will not actually need to side with them, so doing this quest won't affect your standing with any other faction. So I highly recommend that you do this quest on every character, no matter what faction you side with, just to get the Ballistic Weave mod. So first we must actually find the railroad. To do this, go straight to the Old North Church. You can head right there from Sanctuary, it's here on the map. Once you get here, just head on inside and go right. We must go downstairs to the basement. Continue along the path and you'll eventually find this puzzle. So to unlock the door here, you're simply going to turn the wheel to spell out the word Railroad. To do this, just line up the arrow with each letter and then press the middle button to select that letter. Spell out Railroad, no spaces. Once you're done, a secret passage will unlock. Congratulations, you found the railroad and you'll get greeted by Desdemona and Decon. Now just agree to help out the railroad. We must now complete a list of quests to obtain the Ballistic Weave mod. This is pretty straightforward and very easy to do. The locations I talk about and these quests will all be marked out on your pit boy so make sure you just select the quest and it will tell you where to go. First up is the quest called Tradecraft and this is done with Deacon, the guy in the white shirt and glasses. This requires you to get into a safe house and steal some stuff. You will have an option of two routes during the quest. I suggest going for the sneaky option if you want an easier time. You will also get the unique deliverer when doing this quest. This is basically one of the best pistols in the game and you also unlock Deacon as a companion. This is probably the longest quest that you'll need to complete. So after you're done, return to the railroad HQ and talk to Dr. Carrington. He will give you the next quest. It's called Boston After Dark. In this quest, you must save a synth called H222. It's basically an escort mission where you have to escort him to a safe house, so it's relatively simple. But once you're done, just head back to the railroad HQ and talk to the doctor again to turn in the quest. Now when you're done, you must talk to Pam. She's the Assaultron robot, she looks like this. She's also in the railroad HQ. Firstly, she'll introduce herself and there's sometimes a bug where she won't give you the quest. If this happens, just do other quests for the railroad and then come back to her and she'll eventually give you that quest, but usually she should give it to you straight away. The quest she'll give you is called Mercer's Safe House. This quest requires you to secure a safe house, obviously. You'll be sent to a random settlement and you literally just have to clear out the area and set up some defenses for it. It's very straightforward, literally just put down two turrets and that apparently counts as enough defense and that will complete the quest. So when you're done, go back to the Railroad HQ and talk to Pam again. She will then give you the final mission that we need in order to unlock the Ballistic Weave Armor mod. She will give you the quest called Jackpot. She'll give you this card and then she'll send you off to a random location. Just go to the random location and you'll find a secret passage that will be opened by the card automatically when you approach it. All you actually need to do is open the secret door. You don't actually need to loot the stuff, but obviously you will. And that's it, just head back to HQ. Go back to Pam and turn in the quest. And now straight away you must go and talk to Tinker Tom about what you found in the DIA cache. Now Tinker Tom is also in the Railroad HQ, he looks like this. This part is a little bit weird, because if this is the first time you've spoken to him, he will talk to you about something completely unrelated. So if you've not spoken to him, he may try and send you on a quest. What I suggest doing is just exhausting his dialogue and then just leaving the area and coming back. 
We are basically trying to get him to say this dialogue. Shit, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothing. I got some in stock now. Oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. Show me what you got. I will set you up, my friend. And then, when he says this, he will give you the ballistic weave mod. But nothing in the game actually tells you that he gave it to you. You just need to have this conversation with Tinker Tom about it, and then you will have unlocked it to apply to your armor. After you've had the conversation, just get some clothes. The ballistic weave mod can be applied to most clothing found in the game. I recommend using clothes that already have a bonus attached to them, like the baseball uniform that gives you plus one strength and agility. Also, don't forget that it works on hats, like the battered fedora too. I'll leave a list of good items you can use and where you can get them in the description below. Now just go to any armor crafting workbench and select your clothing. You will see that there are five ranks of the ballistic weave mod available to you. To unlock the higher levels of the mod, you must upgrade your armor perk. Even at the first rank though, it gives you 30 energy and damage resistance. And then at rank five, which is the one you want, it will give you 110 damage and energy resistance. So apply it to your clothes and your hat, and then put your hat and clothes on and that gives you a total of 220 physical damage and energy resistance. For your hat though, I do suggest using the green rag hat as it gives you plus 10 more energy resistance, so that gives you a total of 230 energy resistance instead. So another great thing is that we can also wear armor on top of our clothing. So the best choice choice of armor to wear is full heavy synth armor. It provides the highest armor rating combination of 323 physical armor and 350 energy resistance. I have a guide on where to get full heavy synth armor in the description, it's pretty easy to do. So we already have a ridiculously high armor rating. But wait, you can also upgrade the rating of the synth armor at a workbench to an even higher armor rating. So to do this, you're going to want to first upgrade all the synth armor with the nanofilament upgrade. This is going to boost your armor and energy resistance. You can then get a little bit more energy resistance if you upgrade the chest piece to have an asbestos lining. So then make sure you've got your hat and your baseball outfit on, put all your synth armor on over the top of that, and that my friends is the best armor rating in the game that you can get excluding power armor. Now, some people have said that combat armor is better, but they are simply incorrect. Synth armor is better in every way, apart from perhaps the appearance. Because let's be honest, we do look like a walking kitchen appliance. But even the synth armor upgrades are better than the combat armor upgrades. So get the synth armor. Also, if you want to be really crazy and pretty much invincible, you can get the legendary sentinel effect on your synth armor. Then each piece of armor will reduce the damage you take by 15% each. So that's a total of 75% damage reduction. And then if you've got the Lone Wanderer perk at rank 3, you will have a total damage reduction of 105%. So that means you're halving the incoming damage that you take. So on survival mode, it just turns the game into an absolute joke. And you can actually get your damage reduction even higher than this. Just check out my build guide on how to do that. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I know it takes me a while to make these in-depth video strategy guides, but you guys can expect all the information to be correct and well researched. I'd really appreciate it if you guys like this video as a lot of effort goes into making these guides. And of course, feel free to subscribe for more Fallout 4 strategy guides like this one. If you like really in-depth videos like this, then I also suggest checking out my build guides. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Thanks again for watching guys. My name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Have a lovely day and goodbye.